When the people of Western Riverside County flush their toilets, it comes here to the Western Riverside County Regional Wastewater Authority. Hi, my name is Tom Cleave, and today I'm gonna go on the job as a wastewater operator. These professionals are part scientist, part mechanic, and know exactly how to deal with your waste. This is my friend Tony Pollock, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about this awesome facility we're at. Hey Thomas, thank you for being at the West Riverside County Regional Wastewater Authority Treatment Plant. This is a, a, a wastewater treatment plant designed to treat about 14 million gallons per day of sewage. Sewage is everything that goes down a drain, whether it's the sink, the toilet, the shower, you name it, it shows up here. Our goal then is to treat the water to where it's nice and clean before we beneficially reuse it in our communities or discharge it towards the, the ocean. Perfect, can we speak to some of the other water wastewater professionals? Absolutely. Let's do it. We're here with Michael Snow at the Headworks. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, so Headworks is where all the sewer comes into the plant, everything. So what you're seeing come up here, uh, we call rags, are like baby wipes and floss and feminine hygiene products. Have you ever seen anything crazy, anything weird that comes through? The craziest thing I've seen come in here has been a moped. <laughs> moped? Uh, <laughs> What's the dirtiest part about this system here that you guys actually have to do? On occasion, this does get full with rags and we do have to clean those rags out by hand. Ooh. Um, and this is straight sewer, so that's the worst part, dirtiest right. job. So after it goes through something like this, where does it all end up? In the landfill. Waste management comes and picks it up and dumps it there. We're here in the first step of the water treatment and Days Fong is gonna tell us a little bit about this section here. The water from the head will come this way, go into this clarifier, then the sludge will settle because the polymers mix in here, settle to the bottom. So can the sludge overflow? Can there just be too yes, much? Yes, that's why we gotta keep Pick and blanket every day and pump a certain amount of uh, minutes to the digest. Sure. Can we see how that works? Yes. Awesome. So this is the sled. Each one of those red marks is a foot. One, two, three, three and a half foot of sled. We're here at the second stage of the water process in what looks to be a chocolate river. We're here with Michael and he's gonna explain a little bit what, what's going on, why does it look like chocolate? So we actually call this uh, our oxidation ditch. It's actually called mixed liquor. So this is actually a mix of all of our microorganisms and all of the carbon source they use for food. That's why it looks brown. Gotcha, so what, why is it splashing poop around over there in the corner? We have to feed the microorganisms, we have to actually have them breathe and that helps add oxygen to the water and it also keeps the velocity. If we didn't actually have any flow through here, this would look super dark on the bottom and super clear on top. So is that what's going on with all the bubbles? Yes, the bubbles help keep all of our microorganisms alive. Now we're at the secondary clarifier. What do you guys do with everything right here? So the flow from there comes to the center ring and they settle. And here I'm going to take a blanket, see how thick the blanket is. Then they go to that pump and they do the return. Well, let's do that. Okay. Would this, this be considered sludge still? Yes, okay. it's lighter. And it's like, we're looking at what, four feet, give or yeah, take? Yeah, one, two, three, four feet. How do you get it out of this thing? So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we just came back from the secondary clarifier just right over there, and now Jesse's here to talk to us a little about, about the next step and where we are. So this next step is actually called a super disc filter. It's a 10 micron filter system that, uh, that filters out all the organic 
uh, material that's left over from the secondary clarifier. Okay, I noticed there's a difference. These ones are really dark and these ones are really like, not quite clear, but they're a lot nicer looking. Is there a difference there? There is. These are actually doing their job. These are out of service right now. These have been in service about three days now. Okay. And so the life cycle is about five days. Okay. And then we switch over that one and then we do a cleaning on this one. All right, Jesse, it looks like a lot's going on right here. Are we, are we done? Is this the end? This is almost in. It went from being poop water to just straight fresh water. So you're, you're telling me there's no poop in here? No poop water, but we call this recycled water. Perfect. So what do you use recycled water for? Where does it go? Yeah, we're going to irrigate um, our member agencies. And then also it goes all the way out to the ocean and all the quarter life along the Santa Ana River. That's amazing. So today we've talked to a ton of water professionals here at the district, but there's one other thing we have to talk about, and that's the mechanic side of things. I'm here with Don, who is a mechanic here at Western, and we need a mechanic because things break, right? That's pretty much what it's about. We try to do a lot of preventative maintenance, mm -hmm. but in the event that we do have an issue, you know, we have to either weld, replace, repair. You mentioned welding. And I can't say that I've ever done this before, but I'm pretty decked out and I think I'm ready to go. So you can give me a demo on some of that? Maybe I could try it out? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Woo, yeah, you're a professional. <laughs> and here we are at the last stop of our tour and arguably my favorite stop. These orange trees you see beside me grow right here on the facility grounds due to that recycled water we saw go through the processes today. Thank you guys for joining me and we'll hope to see you at the Water District. Ooh.